Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. This video tutorial I am making to demonstrate how we can make powerful and uh, impressive presentation in the PowerPoint. So as you know that PowerPoint is the Microsoft family member and it is the best power presentation tool. So once we are um, uh, making our present presentation in PowerPoint, normally our presentation contains several slides which are moved sequentially. For example, you move to slide number one, then two, three, four, like this sequentially we are moving. But sometimes it is required to navigate the presentation to elaborate further. For example, from you want to jump from slide number two to slide number nine or slide number 20, something like this, or to want to skip the slide in between and then after you want to return back to your slide number two so this navigation we need to do sometime for, uh, for elaboration purpose and sometime we want to link our presentation with some external presentation so this to uh, we uh, to open uh, we want to open some uh, we have one op presentation open and we want to open some other presentation also so in this case either we have to close or minimize our current presentation to open the new presentation or uh, we have to make uh, other way other, otherwise we will see the alternative what we can do and sometimes we want to link our presentation with some website or some other object which may be a uh, jpeg jpeg uh, jpeg uh, Sure, or we have to um, link with our presentation with some YouTube video, or we have to link with our presentation with some some email uh, uh, dialog box, so so that if anyone need any further queries or some further information, they can write to us, and when he uh, can click the email email button, the email dialog box will be open where he uh, with the address. So he just need to type his query or his uh, questions. So this can be achieved very easily in uh, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint using the link command. So link command can be uh, uh, attained by using the uh, menu option. So we see in uh, in a while in power in the presentation itself. So you can see in the screen that it is uh, some PowerPoint presentation. And we want to link some object. For example, you want to link this, uh, uh, you want to create provide a link for this. Uh, this uh, word which is a link so whenever uh, for example you say that uh, if you need further uh, uh, information please click on the link and then you lay you put the some link here which take the user to other uh, presentation other website other youtube video or some email dialog box or some pictures or some address box or some google location so you can link it here so we just go in the uh, insert menu and the insert menu you can see that the link option this link is uh, available so this link can be inserted in three ways in powerpoint number one is that just go to insert menu and link on uh, click on the link or you can do it by just right click here and put insert uh, insert happen link or you can do it by, for example, if you click in the link, move your cursor over the link, you can see the short keyboard shortcut command, which is control plus K. So a link can be inserted in three ways, either from the insert menu, from the mouse right, uh, right click, or from the uh, keyboard shortcut control plus K. And uh, in the, in this case, uh, we can uh, we can link our uh, we can make this some um, shapes also for better uh, better understanding or for the to make our pre presentation more uh, impressive and beautiful. For example, here I want to make this uh, in, I want to insert a link and which will, which will take me to the PowerPoint presentation. Uh, Power, Power BI definitions or I want to link or some provide some link to open some uh, YouTube video so I can we can do it so for example here I just go here in the insert menu and create a shape okay and this in this shape once your shape is okay just copy this uh, icon you can make any icon you can download from internet several uh, icon which is uh, suit your requirement so I just for a uh, uh, for save some time, I just take the same Power BI icon. So just click icon and press Control D to duplicate it, and then take it here. Once your power uh, icon is there, now you need to put the uh, uh, link here. So just click the first dialog, uh, first shape, which is our rectangle, and then go into Insert and make link. So it will open the link dialog box. You can see on the screen. Okay, and here and you link to now you have here four options: existing file or web page. Uh, place uh, in the this document, so it will show you the, how many slides are there in your presentation, and you can link it with any particular slide. Create a new document. Okay, from here, it's, for example, you want to say are you uh, say that we have to open the presentation or how you create create a new PowerPoint presentation. And here, if you change, put it the, the uh, 
the file name number here it will open the new powerpoint presentation or here email address for example you can put your email address here and you uh, in, for, uh, in the presentation you mentioned that if you need any further query please don't hesitate to contact me at and at that point you link uh, uh, you link it here so whoever click this uh, button or this uh, character it uh, this email dialog box will be open here he don't need to type your email address all is there and uh, he just type his queries and question it is directly came to you by email so we have link option four link option are here so here i go existing file or web page okay and you can see this uh, uh, place or uh, place in the in this document so i want to go that one i click this one this uh, click on this icon or this it will take me to slide number four so i just select like slide number four and here in the screen tip the screen tip you can see that when you take your mouse over the icon it will give you some suggestion so you can say here uh, power bi intro so whenever anyone uh, move his mouse over this icon, the, it will show you that it is powered by intro, introduction. So you just click OK and then OK. Okay. So now if you bring your mouse over here and press control button, you can see that your it will hand uh, will come and when you click it, it will take you the uh, power uh, power by introduction. So here and now, but if you see here, you have to click one. Uh, you have to put one. Uh, uh, link for this uh, icon also because we put this uh, uh, link for this shape now we need to put the uh, uh, link for this icon also so just click this one and go to uh, right click and go uh, uh, interlink control k okay and then just make it Okay, for example, because we copy the from here, so all it, uh, this slide here from here, this slide, so all it auto it bring the uh, link also. So you remember that I just copy with Control D to, to duplicate and bring this icon from here. So if you want to remove any uh, hyperlink, just right click here and go to Edit Link, and the Edit Link you can say Remove Link. So it will remove the link, and now it will not be go there. So now I have to put the link for this icon also to uh, right select the icon the icon i uh, this uh, shape and right click and go hyperlink and here you can say slide number four so in uh, so in this case if the user click either on this shape or on this icon both cases it will go to slide number four now you want to insert some text also so insert and shape you can put some text and you can say introduction to Power BI. Just control A, and then make it center and make bold. Okay. Now you want to link this text also with the uh, slide number four. So just select, uh, click on the uh, anywhere for the introduction or Power BI, and then you just press control K. It will open the slide. Uh, insert hyperlink dialog box. Then select slide number four, and then skin tip also. You can see introduction to. Power BI or Power BI introduction. Okay. So now you can see that if you bring your, your mouse over this, you say in Power BI intro. Okay, and this is Power BI intro. But here, in this uh, this uh, one, we did not put any screen tip. So just right click and go edit link, and in the screen tip, you can see power bi intro so in this case you can link your shape to any uh, to any slide inside your presentation and you same same way you can uh, we can make uh, we can make uh, a link our pre presentation with some external uh, new powerpoint presentation some external object some external video some email address so we can insert one more here insert go shape Okay, and then just make a shape, just make to differentiate this one. I take this one and just make control D, duplicate, bring it here. Just make it a little small. As we see before that this shape already contains a link. So just right click and go edit link. From edit link, we can remove this link. You can see the option. Turn this remove link here. Just click here. Now this shape is independent. For example, you want to link this shape with some other external source. So just click this one. 
and right click hyperlink in the in hyperlink you can see here that now which presentation I want to present for example i uh, i go here and go to some other shape and i select this powerpoint presentation okay i go again edit link and in the screen tip you can see into p6 calendars for example if you want to link this to the p6 calendar you can put that it will go to p6 calendar similarly if you click here and then right click this one and control k and just make it select this presentation okay, pieces calendar okay and now both are linked with the pieces calendar but we forget to put the skin tip the skin tip is the p6 power primer calendar okay after this text here okay p6 dance just make it control a to select all and bold let's see uh, select on the on the calendars and right click hyperlink and just link it to the same presentation now it's all linked so if you go here and if you go over this uh, icon and press control button it will the it will the cursor will change to hand and then just select it so if you open this one it will show you the calendar the power Power primary of PCX Enterprise. So you see that we can open a PowerPoint presentation while we are inside our current presentation. So in this case, we don't need we don't need to close our current presentation to open the new presentation. Similarly, if you want to link our presentation with some uh, some email address or some uh, website or some uh, some uh, some uh, YouTube video, just go in the uh, web uh, uh, the YouTube and copy the address of this video and put it here. For example, in this video here, if you right click this and edit link here, you can see that I put I copy here the address for this one. Excellent. Okay. Or just make it like this. For example, we make one more insert shape, make a circle shape. Okay, suppose we take uh, this uh, arrow shape to go here and here we put some uh, tool some for example you call duplicate this icon bring it here little bit okay just because we duplicate from here so it already contains some link so we need to remove this link to edit link you remove link you can do it from here also so now it does not contain any link now we have to go to youtube for example i open the YouTube. Now you can see that I open uh, one of uh, YouTube and this one of the, uh, my video, which is explain the calendars in PowerPoint P6 Enterprise. So just go on the on this one video and right click, and you can save here. You can find this at uh, copy the address. We just go on this, uh, this uh, uh, on the video and just copy the address from here. Copy link. Okay. Once we copy the link here, we go over power PowerPoint, and in the PowerPoint, we just right click here and go edit link, happen link. In the happen link, you can see external here in the address. You just type the YouTube address and then go to skin tip P6 YouTube video. For P6 calendars. That's okay. Screen tip okay done. Then okay. Now if you go here and click on this uh, icon, it will open you the video or management calendars. Okay, this open all our uh, YouTube channel and you can find and open the video.
So the purpose to tell you here that you can put uh, any a hyperlink or any external link, which may be uh, external PowerPoint, which may be uh, any uh, uh, web page, which may be any YouTube video, which may be any JPEG picture, uh, Google map or any email address. So you can put this all external uh, links here without closing your current presentation. So while you are uh, explaining something and you want to go some detail, you can put it here. So once you do this one, I just remove this all. I don't want to go here because I already created this all. So once you made this uh, all shapes here, you can just click, click your uh, power, uh, button uh, links and you just go to transition. In the transition, you can find that zoom in. If you open there, you will find that zoom in. Just select this one. It will come like this, zoom in. And the effect is uh, you want to go zoom out. So zoom out will be like this. See, this is the zoom out. So when you want to click anyone, the will uh, you have zoom in and zoom out transition. And for example, once you go on uh, your transition and uh, you are explaining something, so you want to say okay, like for example, you are explaining that Power BI is a business intelligence and analysis tool, and you can get data from various sources. So the question may arise in the from the audience that what are the various sources can you define? So if there's someone asking this question and you want you don't want to make your presentation boring or very excessive in length, so that when the audience see that there are so many slides, maybe they will get uh, bored and they don't they, they are losing their interest to uh, to avoid this such a uh, uh, length of in the uh, in your presentation we can uh, put uh, some external link for here also for example i put one external link here so this you can see the color is blue now so i just go ahead and remove this link okay it is normal so if you want to link here that data from where the data you can obtain just click here and put the uh, hyperlink and from the hyperlink you can see that i uh, you can make it here you can just go and select the location where you are saving your files like for example i have this one here i make one powerpoint power bi data sources so just select this one and go here so you once you go here and anyone come and ask you the what are the sources for power bi just give okay no problem just you click here it will take you the sources so it will show you that uh, okay so you can get data from micro excel from xml from uh, some other folder from the pdf There's so so many sources are here you just select your source appropriate source and link with here to connect your data with the power bi so in this case you can see that we can link uh, external sources in several ways in power uh, in our powerpoint presentation and once you are doing uh, you are done with this slide or you want to go to return to the our or your first slide for so you can put some uh, icon like this which is like home icon so this can be done here if you go insert and shapes in insert and shape you can find at the bottom that action buttons are here this action button are here you can see that is very commonly used that uh, next slide previous slide uh, last slide or first slide or home button home button is that for from where we start our abbreviation because normally the first slide is the uh, our presentation is the uh, is, is the front paper front cover which is normally that much not that much useful for us it is only for the presentation or when you are printing and giving some hard copy to users so uh, for this case our uh, home page about this slide slide number three as you can see on the screen so i just go and click this uh, home button and, and click here so it will it will link your slide to slide number one which is powerpoint presentation okay for the illustration purpose i keep it same otherwise you can select any slide from here you can just go into slide option here and of the slide option you can select the slide you want to go for example if you want to go slide number two or slide number three or slide number four we cannot go slide number four because we already in the slide number four so we can move to any of the slide number one two three so okay for this purpose we just go to slide number one Okay, and from here, uh, mouse over, so is, you can have the play sound, you can have, you put some hyperlink here, okay, and then you can put some play sound, for example, there's several built, several built in sound like uh, breeze, like camera click, like uh, click, like coin falling, like drum roll, so you can select any of this uh, sound, okay, and then once you bring, press the control, okay, and just right click and go edit link. Okay, and you can see that uh, first slide and mouse over and it will hyperlink to slide number one. Okay, so when you come here.
So I just make it here. Okay, just reshape uh, this one, uh, our uh, button. And if you bring your mouse over it and press control button, it will open. Okay, as you select, it will take you to the first presentation. And then you go back here. You can change the color from here, uh, from home. Just or you just make right click and format shape. In the format shape, just fill fill it with the some color you like grayish. I think it's great, it looks good, beautiful, or like this. So in this case, you can put some uh, action button. So when you click this one, it will take you the uh, current slide. So I already make one uh, action button here. It is just for your illustration purpose. So you just remove this one. Here also we have this uh, already built uh, two uh, two um, uh, two icon for our introduction to for the explaining. So I just remove this one. I don't need this one. So now we actually start our presentation from top, from the start, slideshow from beginning. Okay, so like this PowerPoint presentation, uh, how we'll make PowerPoint an impressive pre presentation in PowerPoint. So in this, uh, the PowerPoint is the most uh, common and powerful presentation tool, but and uh, sometimes we navigate our presentation uh, within uh, within the, our presentation uh, to elaborate further. For example, we move from some slide to uh, so next slide. For example, slide number two to slide number nine or slide number eleven. We want to skip some slide in between for the illustration purpose. And once we elaborate, we want to return back to the slide number two again. So this uh, navigation we can do inside the um, PowerPoint, which is uh, possible. You don't need to skip and show all the uh, in, in between slides. And similarly, we can link our slide with some external PowerPoint presentation, some external website, some external YouTube video, some external picture, etc. We can do it also in the presentation, and which this all can be done with the link command in the insert menu in the PowerPoint. So the link command can be inserted in three ways. Either you can go in menu and click the link button, or you can go uh, click the object and right click and select the hyperlink. And for thirdly, that you go with the Control plus K button to use the uh, insert hyperlink dialog box. Then you can go zoom in and zoom out. For example, if you bring your mouse over it, it will show you that this icon will open the Power BI introduction. So, okay, if you click here or here, it will open the Power BI presentation. Similarly, if you come here, it will show you the Power BI video. So, we just go here, Power BI introduction, and it will show you the uh, what is Power BI. What is the Power BI introduction? So it is show that Power BI is the business intelligence tool, and it, in this Power Power BI introduction, we can get data in several ways. Several ways. One is the, the uh, if the question arises, what are the uh, ways? So just click here on the obtain. Just if you click your mouse over this obtain button, you can see that your mouse change from uh, uh, arrow to and so just click this one obtain it will show you it will open an external picture which show you the all the sources we need to open the to get uh, to acquire data for the power bi so once you explain this all the sources you can click this one and once you explain all this information you just go on the down down on this uh, home button if you click home button it will bring back to the uh, or your first slide and here you can to say if you want to see a powerpoint presentation what is what is that you want to know more about power bi you can see my video at the following link so you just click this one and it will open the youtube video uh, and which Okay, so in this case, in this in this phase, we can open uh, or we can open any external website, external uh, YouTube video, external picture, or uh, uh, any other presentation. Any can can be done. And once you finish, you can use the action button to bring your data back to the original or first slide. So I hope this is something good for our fellow planning engineer. It will help you to create more, more impressive and powerful presentation, which uh, which create uh, create more interest of the users or viewer in the presentation instead of having the conventional presentation containing several slides. And if you want to, if you want to move some other slides, skip some slide in between. You have to move one by one. So instead, instead of doing this, you can put some hyperlink, which take you directly from some. Particular uh, slide, and then you can put the home action button to come back to the original or starting slide. So I hope this video is useful for you. And if you like it, please consider subscribing and share with your friends or fellow plan engineer. I will meet you again soon in with some other uh, informative power plan, uh, so informative video for our engineers. Till that time, uh, take care and see you again. Bye bye.